this is Dakshinamuthi from Sustainable Development Council, India. So, uh, I would like to ask, I uh, think, uh, because Asia is uh, in a very prominent position in emission of uh, CO2. So, Asia has top five countries in among the top ten. So, do you think that the significant population in Asian continent playing a very big role on emitting CO2? If population is a problem, so whether when climate change is addressed globally, does Asia need a special policy just because of its population? So this is my question. It's for the panel. Thank you. Thank you for the much. opportunity. Very interesting question. We had yes. In terms of the population, I will say that we should look at the per capita emission, not merely that because India and China are big. So so you look how much they're emitting. So we should like per capita, that is a key factor in my view. And we also need to address the historical issue. That's where the principle of different common but differentiated responsibilities is crucial in my view. Thank you. Thank you. And actually just to refer to Project Drawdown, the number one solution was a birth control. So quite controversial, but that's an interesting perspective. Can I just add something uh, to that to that response? Um, I think it's a great question. Uh, we know that by 2050, we will have over 1 billion climate refugees. And it's something that environmental um, NGOs and, and uh, UNHCR, et cetera, are already looking at. Um, uh, and I actually think that one of the big issues we're going to have is the, the, the border policies uh, around countries. There are some countries that are more set up for uh, receiving these um, climate refugees. And I think Australia, Canada has done a very good job in trying to integrate some of these populations. But there's going to be a lot more need for countries, especially in our region of Asia, to not be so tight on certain borders and have plans in place to support um, these immigrants who are really fleeing for their lives with nothing, with absolutely nothing. And it's not just going to be, uh, you know, nonprofits who are going to be able to integrate them. So I think there's a big uh, effort and corporations will also have a role to play. Thank you, Christine.